Uh, which one's my good one? So, 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 as I crack up this can of Red Bull, what happened last time? Uh, yeah. So, where did it start? Well, <clears throat> there's two tactical start points. There's pre and post flashback. How about we go in real life chronological order? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. January 14th. Uh, so it started with a fight, uh, which initially started with Blair hearing something, well, a number of us hearing something, but Blair leading the charge to go fight something with accompanying allies. Um, and then uh, three trolls popped out of the sewer, sewer, swamps, uh, and one of the trees was, uh, turns out to be a weird ass plant. Um, we handled it surprisingly well, which is only concerning for me saying that out loud. Cause it's just like, I feel like it's only going to get worse. Uh, yeah, it's got to bounce out somewhere. Yeah. Oh, fun fact. This guy was like a, a spirit troll. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah. Spirit troll. These guys yeah, were maybe. swamp trolls, but they had to die too. I think it was acid and fire and then they would die. Yeah. No. Nope. Or was check. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, you're right. See, okay, I thought yeah. so because like I remember specifically pointing out like, oh, you hit him with acid or fire, and you corrected me then. So I was just like, what do you mean, no? It's because originally swamp trolls are designed for cold and fire. Cold. Which oh, I'm like, I'm like, it's always cold around here, so I feel like that's not They've that got fun. No, we need acid. Acid's fun. You heard it here first, kids. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll have it after. <laughs> Doof. Um, after, uh, we all had conjoined hallucinations and w had a flashback. Um, uh, we went back not to... Actually. Yeah, not not literally. Uh, we had a flashback uh, where we got to see how we ended up here, um, for the most part. Uh, we started with <clears throat> where the uh, party split. Uh, we split and went in a portal, went to Sindel. Uh, we rolled a number of D100s. Curse, you rolled shittily, as is the tradition for that entire session. Holy crap, you rolled so bad, I'm sorry. Yep, yep. Meanwhile, Fred is like, finally, I managed to ditch it. I know, yeah. right? You just you just rubbed it off onto me, I hate you. <laughs> Who's <laughs> laughing now, huh? Everyone else. <laughs> Not me! Ah, <laughs> uh, I see, I see. We've gone from co-op to competitive co-op. <laughs> We're gonna get the PvP soon. Mm. No. Not if I can help it. Smite the shit out of all. Cough, Jacob, cough. Anyone Anyways. that wants to fight shall be slaughtered. <laughs> the end. You want to fight, uh, you'll get a fight. <laughs> God will intervene. Um, anyways, we teleport. We'll go to Sindel because it's easier teleporting a bit north of our destination, traveling south than anywhere nearby, as well as I don't think technically there was a different option. So, uh, go to Sindel. Could have all just walked the twins. Could've walked? Could have just hoofed it. Um, you guys technically could have teleported to the Hellens. <laughs> right, right. But I, I think they just kind further... of agreed. That's not a great idea. Sama de Basson. Sama de So, uh, pink, pink circle. Tango, it would have been closer, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been closer. Yeah. But we also uh, kind of, A number of us had, um. What's the opposite of recently biased? Nostalgia. Nostalgia for Sindel. So we're like, mm, yeah, let's <laughs> go back there. Um. Nevertheless, we go there, we are met with a empty keep minus, well, from our perspectives, empty minus one, which was a uh, Joanna the Maid, I believe was the pronunciation. I can't pronounce it. Right. Well, her last name isn't the Maid, but. I, I wrote down the Maid and I just started saying, I'm just, I'm just going <laughs> to stick to it. I'm just going, or she was born to be a maid, apparently. <laughs> no, Joanna. We met Joanna. Uh, she guided us through the place uh, where we got to see how eerily empty it is. Uh, a number of us kind of determined, like, this place is more protected than we really understand for more than just mundane shit. Uh, as well as we went to an area that had a bunch of, like, um, I think banners and tabards of, like, different houses. Which uh, Mr. Roswell over there, or Whitelock, we'll get to that later. Uh, I don't know if he pointed it out, but he knew, like, that's significant. That's, like, paying homage to... A, a noble house that like did some significant shit. Uh, he even saw his own uh, house here, or as a, uh, yeah, yeah, he saw his own house here, which was very unexpected. 
considering like just the distance at the very least. Um, we left. Not that far. It's like only um only most of a continent. You know, seventeen hundred miles by the crow. The way the crow. Yeah, flies, only you know? the complete opposite coast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a little. It is a little eh, don't worry about it, man. Anyways, um, water. We take our leave. We start leaving Sindel. Vaso uh, points out like something about Joanne. He's just getting weird vibes from her. Which Garth has an idea of why. Um, and it's like, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Did anything specific happen? No, because we left Sindel pretty quickly. Ran into three schmucks walking down the road after having half their party killed. Uh -huh. um, we have a little chit chat. Uh, we all kind of decide, like, hey, we should, or not we should, we're, we're, we're going a similar direction, we could work together. The thing is, nobody trusts anybody. <laughs> and it's like that. Can't imagine, can't imagine why. Yeah. Yeah, and that sentiment kind of stays for most of it. There's, there's not really trust build up more, just like, okay. We believe that if you tried to screw us, it would just be screwing yourself over harder. So we don't think you're gonna screw us in this one. That's the closest mutual to trust benefit. I think we end up getting. Yeah, mutual benefit and mutually assured destruction. Excellent. Uh we talked to we got some input from different NPCs to like incorporate them into decision making. Um Oriana definitely didn't talk to Scavola in any point. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't know why you're being so paranoid about that. Uh, speaking of paranoid, hey, Alessander. I don't think that's paranoid. Some weird stuff's going on with Alessander, from my perspective, at the very least. Mm -hmm. He keeps, like, barking orders at people. And not... If it was just barking orders, like, that's a bit weird. He's probably taking a, uh, like, a leadership role. And that's, like, how he goes about a leadership role. That's one thing. But then he starts calling people by the wrong names. And it's like, that is weird. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Wee tad. No, nah, those are just uh, nicknames that he he gave you guys. <laughs> without our consent. Weird We're consulting us first. Well, mo a lot of nicknames are usually without consent. <laughs> just saying. <Yeah. laughs> you, you know, Oriana, you you have a lot of sergeant energy, but I'm gonna call sergeant. you sergeant from now on. That's not a nickname. That's just like. A... All right, sure. It, it is a nickname if you're not actually in the military. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, come on, Gaff, don't you know? I will destroy myself <laughs> with how much snot is coming down my nose. Um, we end up uh, making our way to our destination. We end up stopping at an inn for the night. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the place is called Ben's Bend, by the way, because, ha, ah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ben's Bend. Then you guys stayed, like, uh, another hundred miles down the way at uh, Miles Meters, you know, and then you guys <laughs> made it to the, uh, the lake, you know, to the, to the cordon. Easy. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they're cousins, all right? They're alone. Yeah, they, they have a franchise going on. Um, I can't remember a lot of what other people did because memory bias and also mild sickness is making my brain uh, full of snot instead of thoughts. Uh, so... Now you know how I felt last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'll start with this step. Oriana goes to talk to Vaso. Um, and kind of discovers that he, in quotation marks, was talking to Lyco. It's hard to pin down if it was actually her or if it was a dream. Oriana doesn't believe it's a dream in the slightest. But, like, there's not definitive <laughs> evidence of either one. But also... Archfey, like it wasn't a dream. <laughs> you never know. know. Maybe the heart wants what the heart wants. Huh? Yeah, that that's kind. Of, that that's mildly in the background of the conversation of that concept. I'm just like, hey, what is what is your plans with it? What are your intentions with this? Da, 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 da. Um, he did not say he was going to plan to woo her or anything like that. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, what what's happening with it? Um. Yeah, I had an interesting point of just, like, he doesn't entirely blame her for her actions because it's just her nature. It's like, that's an interesting perspective, considering he was on the receiving end of the worst of it. <laughs> and also, technically the best of it, he also did become fucking jacked in terms of power level, but that's beside the point. Archface steroids. 
It also got laid, but that's beside the point as well. Um, that, that's how you got insp- that's how you got inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> there was okay. While that was happening, um, Alexander was sitting by the fire. Uh, Fred's character, which I have written down here, Keenan. Oh, it was Keenan. Yeah, okay. Uh, who's flirting with fucking everyone that he can. Uh, yeah, he's man. currently not flirting. He's just kind of sitting off in the corner enjoying his drink, watching everyone. Um, I think most of everyone else at that point was just uh, playing a super not-rigged card game <laughs> where they were <laughs> bullying Delvet. I mean, getting information out of Delvet properly and without rigging the bets at all. <laughs> Nah. Nah, not inside. Oh, right. Take it two steps back. Uh, Anushka did lose, like, 60 gold or something to... <laughs> to fucking... <laughs> oh, Manon. Manon. Manon, thank you. You have, like, a couple grand or something, don't you? That's fine. Yeah, but now it's minus 60 gold. Yeah. Anushka's never had much money at all, so any amount of money lost is like, oh god, that's the rest of my life. I'm screwed. Yeah, she's just like, no, my precious! I just got you! Okay, actually, I have to use the bathroom really bad, so someone else take over from here. Oh, God. I said take over! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, left up at the Super Red card game, is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What was the immediate thing that happened after that? But wasn't it the Keenan saw a Kasai and Blair mm-hmm. fighting outside? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, so... Uh, Keenan got up and, uh, told Alexander that. Uh, he was like, hey, your lady's getting uh, fucking her teeth kicked in or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Alexander grabbed Oriana, who's already, I think, on her way to come speak to him. Uh, and they went outside to investigate. And it just turned out that they were having a bit of a spar training session. Uh, I was helping Blair maybe work out some stress, though. I mean, I feel like Blair ended up more stress than she started because she lost. <laughs> um, Alexander Dove had a little heart to heart. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, Dove walked up to Alexander, uh, trying to invite him to play a game, and uh, Alexander basically said, "Oh, you, you know, an officer shouldn't uh, play with his subordinates." That's, uh, what's the word? Fraternization. And yeah, that was like that's the nice word sh- used. We're not your subordinates, though. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I knew that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I had a bit of a heart-to-heart, and then Delvet went to go play with them. Um, outside, uh, like I said, Kasai beat Blair in a fight, uh, she huffed and puffed, and I, I think what tripped Oriana. Yeah, well, I pulled her down to the level. Yeah, pulled her down. Did, did she like hit her at all? I, I seem to. Yeah. Recall that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, two for one. <laughs> all right, so Oriana has a has a shiner now, cannon. Um, uh, and then Blair stormed off inside to, to uh, eventually uh, go back to playing the card game with the rest of the team. Uh, Kasai, Kasai didn't. Kasai went to bed when she went back inside, right? Uh, Throwing I think out. so. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Alexander and Oriana spoke outside. He asked her some questions. Uh, first and foremost about um, uh, Shubin. About uh, why she sort of tackled him to the ground, uh, Secret Service style. Um, and he seemed pretty satisfied with the answer. Uh, and they went back inside. And we ended the session playing that, uh, that drinking game. That card game. <laughs> yeah, drinker spill. Drinker spill. Drinker yeah. spill, yep. Oriana did stop him from going inside and ask him a couple questions, too. We got oh, more insight. It's like, oh no. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, um, <laughs> it's like a side thing throughout the week. Uh, I don't know if anyone. Uh, Oriana went and talked to Kasai, and we had that like throughout the week because 
I thought it would be a short conversation. It wasn't. <laughs> My man, anytime you guys have a conversation on NBC, it's either going to be immensely short or decently long. If it's a one-on-one. Because... And that and the length depends on how pissed your NPC is at you and doesn't win the woman to talk. <laughs> See, case in point, Zal being pissed at I don't know. It depends on which one we're going to talking about, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, it is of note that your guys' night at Ben's Bend uh, was your first night. It took two nights, three days of travel, um, for. To get to the cordon. So your second night was at miles meters. Not miles and miles. Uh, and on that second night is when the dream stuff happened. So keep that in mind. So at this point, in, currently in time, that dream shit has happened. Also, another couple points of note. On your guys' way from Sindel to Ben's Bend, uh, you guys did have to deal with some undead hill giants. Right. Which then. is where Dova did score his first kill. Uh-huh. Which is what he was talking about, Sander about uh, the 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 thrill of helping you guys while you're in danger. Uh, semi the, the, a hero complex, maybe I don't know. Psychopath for uh, <laughs> a saver syndrome, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Well, not sending people after up to be in that scenario. <laughs> after the first night, Kasai does wake up without her tattoo, so that is gone, and that is probably something pretty obvious considering how it's on her fucking face. And any attempt at asking her about it is met not with anger or sadness, but just a really pensive, I don't know. Like, she's left with that to just sort of brew on. She's not terribly distraught over it, but it's sort of like um, moving out of a house that you lived in for a decade, right? It's like, it's you're go- it's something new, but you sort of miss what you had. That's what we do. Hmm. Right, like, it's not exactly bad, but it's just different. Yeah. Um, going from Miles Meters out to the Cordon, you, on the way there, that is where you guys fought your troll friends. Friends, quote unquote. Um, on the way, or rather, uh, the day of you guys being at Ben's Bend, you guys did get your messages from the other group. Time zones, how do they fucking work? I don't know. <laughs> And, uh, what else? I think that's it. I think you guys will make it to the cordon zone at basically around 2 o'clock, but that means very little, because as you get closer to the cordon zone, day and night sort of meld into nothingness. It's sort of a constant darkness around here. Right. So, technically, it's constantly (laughs) nighttime if you think about it. But that's up to you guys. To the point point where where you guys are walking and entering into is dark. For Anushka, who has a dark vision, that's fine. To the rest of you who don't, because you're not Gloomstalker Ranger, fucking sucks. Um, That's up to you guys how you want to illuminate thy path, if at all. You guys can walk in the dark, but it's up to you. I have a thing for this. Nice. So who are you allotting it to? No, I can't see. If only I could see 300 feet out in front of me. Where's my glasses? My glasses! (laughs) I can't hear without my glasses. It only lasts one hour. Yes. So how often do you pop it? Because it takes a while to trek through. As I told everyone before, if you're not a stalker and you're not a Nushka, you can consider the entire zone difficult terrain in the grand scale of things. I'm not saying like difficult terrain when you're walking. In combat, but it's difficult terrain for marching. Right. For travel in general, it's just like you are going to go slower. So I mean, you guys are free to go faster, and I can punish you for it if you want. But uh... actually, does this affect Blair or is Blair good? Blair is affected. Yes. Okay. She doesn't have her secret training, so I can give this to five other people. So, am am I reading that correct? Uh, Uh, Because my modifier is five. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. You can do it once for free a day, and then every time thereafter, you just will slow up. Yeah. Uh, how many are we? Player wise. Uh, more than five. <laughs> Player wise. Uh, uh, Player wise, you guys are six. Six. Minus one from Anushka. 
total count wise, including you and Anushka, there's like eleven of you. Right. Let's do. Um... We could buddy up. Let's do Alessander, uh, Manon, Deet, Anushka, Oriana. Who's Deet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's Deet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot what your name was. Uh, Alora. The Barbarian. <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? Alora? Alora. Thank you. So, you Alora, guys can save you... each other the hassle by renaming yourselves. In the cog section, so we can see the name on the bottom. Also, Nushka does have some dark vision. Not three out of people, yeah, so. At, I'm looking how much I've actually got. I think it's like 30. 60. Oh, 60. Oh, I checked it already. Oh, cheers. <laughs> in that so case, I'll take 200. It. 300. And we had a right. We had the fight and everything exactly. Yeah. Um, case, how many hours were we travel? Torches. Are we estimating? <laughs> I don't know. You guys, roll me. Actually, no. Let me let me put it like this. Pick a trailblazer. Your trailblazer is the one that is forward, uh, the forward point of your path. You they're got the, this, Anushka. They're technically the one yeah. in most danger because they're in the front, but they're also the ones that can't get flanked, hopefully. Should we um, pick, like, one from each group? You get one. Get one, okay. You're traveling as one group, you get one trailblazer. Unless you guys are traveling in two separate groups, in which case you're, that's fair game. I volunteer. Uh, then you get Vigilant Blessing as well. Alright. Trailblazer, roll me your survival. Oh. Survival. Oh shit! Just get advantage. I'll, say, I'll say you get advantage from your friends. Nice. And you guidance. Also get guidance. Well. Yes. That makes it more palatable. Twenty-one. So let's go to the map. You guys are approaching the cordon from the northeastern direction. So over here. Up there. You guys troll oh, fight basically over here, like up there. So you guys are traveling at least this distance horizontally, and then some, we'll say like 500 feet vertically. So basically a mile of normal distance. Mm -hmm. We'll double that to two miles for difficult terrain. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Did that you probably takes costume? you guys, I'm assuming you guys are keeping your eyes open. Yes. Yep. Doll. So double that again, so it's four. I would say the benefit of being going low and slow is you guys can also roll stealth. So please roll me your stealths. Unless you guys want to make noise, in which case then don't roll yourself. No. <laughs> can I do... Oh, crazy? Can I quickly do that, uh, pass that tree sign? Just, just, the you know. forward is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you can cast past a trace whether or not it lasts you guys the entire d duration of your trek. That's a different story. Oh shit! Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, not until we're. I, I also have past the trace, but I okay. can only do it once. So, yeah, maybe we'll wait until we're actually in the uh, the death zone. <laughs> so I'll take the average of this, but I just need to know if we're gonna do the. Do, do I add the plus ten to, to these or no? Uh, no. Okay. So in that case. Yeah. Let me just say it right now. Unless you guys wanted to grab a rest from the troll fight to now, you guys have not rested. So yeah. you're still hurt, you're still missing resources, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You've gotten nothing back from that fight. Oh. Yeah. Uh, who are we missing? Allura? What are they? 58. Hey, Crash, wasn't on the D force we get for um, the stalkers was stealth and survival? And was. Well, I know it was stealth, wasn't it? Stealth yeah. and survival, yes. Yeah. Again, you do not live long in the stalker profession by being loud inadvertently. Mm -hmm. Loud on purpose, then, sure. Loud inadvertently, no. Yeah, and guidance applies to this, yeah? Yes. Did we get 2d4? Alright, plus seven. Nice, cool. dude. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a 6 to that. Darker, we still need your stealth roll. Oh, it's still loading. Sorry. Um. 
And your temp HP lasts until next I'm rest, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah temp HP does, unless otherwise stated. Let's see here. While we're waiting, uh, I never had a guidance thing for this one. Jesus Christ, not a single one has been under 20 so far. <laughs> Hey, we'll take oh, that. Well, the motherfuckers can probably detect good if they go up in the dark. Mm -hmm. Delvin, no. You're a 19, not a 20. God damn it. He's a 10, but he rolls 19s. <laughs> 18. Well, you can't have add, them all. <laughs> add a 2d4 to that, Dorky. 19. Alright, so... 13... Well, even w even with disadvantage. <laughs> Last twenty-four. It's meant to be. Yeah. Anyone else? I believe that is it. Draw for Kasai. Oh shit! Yeah, you got Delta. Can you got catch Morka, me? Blair. What uh, did you catch? Did you get it. Vasa? I think. You you got got uh, yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah, you got there. Monster. There it is. Okay. Uh, and then what? 15. Alright. All that in parentheses. How many numbers is that? 1, 2. Uh, 11 people total. Yep. Just making sure I got all of them. Wait for 11. We will have a torture. 20, 20, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh no. I'll piss off. <laughs> oh. oh. oh.